I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see it, but this is the hike coming up out of Double Springs Gap. There's the trail. It looks like a little river. The forest is so different from what we've been going through before. And, oh, it's just magnificent. I love it. It's misty. It's a little rainy this morning, but it's just gorgeous. Okay, I thought this is such a beautiful track. And it's pretty easy for, I don't know, a few hundred yards, I think. Um, I'll just show you the trail and some of the forest around. A um, little break in the trees. Roots and things to step over. Friendly logs to sit on when you need a break. Sorry for the hand shaking. I'm assuming I'll get better. But here's an area where the trail is so worn down that when there's a lot of rain, it's like a river. It's crazy. So anyway, I just wanted to show a little bit of the Smokies within about two miles of Clingman's Dome on the south side of Clemens Dome. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't think this video is going to capture it, but I have to try. In the distance, you can see the, the mist blowing through the trees in the Smokies, which is, of course, why they call it the Smokies. I'm over 6,000 feet right now and climbing even higher to the highest point on the Smokies and also the highest point on the Appalachian Trail, which is Clingman's Dome. It's amazing. Today I probably won't get great views because it's misty and rainy, but this, this view, oh, it's magnificent. You see this? This is from rain last night, and it's rainy today, but it's not too bad. But this is the trail. Sometimes the trail becomes a river, eh, a stream. always found this fascinating how you can have a plant and one of the leaves is just going in complete circles and all the leaves around it are blowing normal and what I know about this is this is my ancestors telling me hello and giving me safe passage okay I've left the Appalachian Trail and I'm now walking down to the parking lot of Clingman's Dome. Rather than going all the way up to Kling Clingman's Dome, I will probably do that later when my partner's not waiting on me. She's probably been waiting about an hour, so I don't want to continue making her wait. Um, but it's beautiful. Lots of flowers and a nice paved trail. So this is our hiker hostel. This is usually only for through hikers, but the proprietor, Renee, graciously agreed to, to lay. Set. This is probably the nicest uh, hiker hostel I have ever used. Um, it's really so nice. They have resupply options. And all of these things, they have loner clothes so you can wash your stinky clothes. So I have on loner clothes. 
this is the one bedroom I'm having uh, Jane take this bedroom um, and I'm going to stay on a comfy mattress on this kind of love or um, can't think of the name of it right now, but Linda knows what I'm talking about. It's supposed to be quite comfy, little decorations here and we have food in here. We have sodas and eggs and all kinds of stuff in here we can use. A little stove on top. Here's a sink to wash dishes. There's dishes, microwave, toaster. More food in here. I mean, this place is amazing. And it's donation based, so I will leave a, a nice little donation once I'm, you know, in the morning when we're about to leave. I just wanted to share this with you all. I'm so excited. I got peanut M&Ms. Look at this. It's my hiker box. My resupply box. Look at that wipes. Oh, yes. Thank you. More trail mix, which saved me, and dinners. Oh, my goodness. So yummy. Thanks, Terry.